One of the main problems a lot of people have with understanding global warming is knowing the difference between weather and climate. If global warming is real, then why did I have to put on a jacket in the summertime? Or why do I need a portable heater at my desk? Or why am I buried under eight feet of snow? And for these people, science communicators like myself are constantly trying to teach them that weather is a phenomena that happens and changes on a daily basis or a minute by minute basis, depending upon where you live. Climate is something that happens across a much longer time span, years, decades, centuries. I open with all of this because of a mental block that I actually have when thinking about climate change. Because I spend so much time telling people that climate change is a long game that's hard to notice on a daily basis, I sometimes forget that it's not actually that long of a game. We can definitely see the changes happening right now. And here's a fun slash horrifying example for you. Back in 2005, a climate modeler named James Anon made a bet with a pair of solar physicists who are skeptical that anthropogenic global warming, AGW, or human-caused uh, global climate change, uh, is real. The physicists Galina uh, Moshnik and Vladimir Bashkirtsev, sorry, uh, believed that solar flares actually play a larger role in climate change and that an upcoming decrease in solar activity would actually lead to global temperatures cooling. You know how we talk about how 97% of scientists studying climate change are convinced that AGW is real? Have you ever wondered who the other 3% is? Well, meet those guys. Uh, to their credit, they were willing to put their money where their mouths are, betting Anon $10,000 that global temperatures would actually drop in the following 12 years. Specifically, they chose the global mean average surface temperature as measured by the U.S. National Climatic Data Center, which is now known as the National Centers for Environmental Information, uh, from 1998 and 2003. And then they said that they would compare that to the temperatures from 2012 to 2017. If the recent temperatures were higher, they'd pay a non-10 grand. If they were lower, he would pay them the same amount. Spoiler alert, Anon was correct. Uh, for the earlier baseline time period, global temperatures were 0.54 degrees Celsius above the average for the 20th century. By the time the later period rolled around, temperatures had risen to 0.78 degrees Celsius. What makes this even more bonkers is that Mashnik and uh, Bashkirsev got to pick the time spans that they were looking at, and they decided to start the earlier time period, the baseline, in 1998, which was historically hot due to that year's crazy El Nino. Even though AGW is really happening, there's a chance that cherry-picking statistical blips like that can make it look like the Earth is actually cooling. But nope, global warming is so out of control that what was once an unbelievably hot outlier of a year is now cooler than any year since 2012. Guys, we are royally fucked. <laughs> but hey, at least Anand got $10,000 out of it, right? Oh, wait. No, he didn't, because uh, we're now nearing the end of 2018. Uh, so this bet has been over for quite some time, and it seems like the solar physicists aren't interested in coughing up the money. Mashnik isn't even responding to Anand's emails, while Bashkirtsev is trying to arrange some kind of double or nothing bet that he swears he's going to honor this time. Uh, Anand is skeptical. So there you have it. Those are your 3% of scientists who doubt AGW is happening. They're wrong, and they don't even have the guts to admit that they're wrong. <laughs>